Hi everybody, it is still May 20, 2019. This is happening in France and so much is happening all over the world in our own country. Here it is. Okay, a, uh, about 400, 400 illegal migrants from Africa shut down Terminal 2 at the International Airport in Paris. So, yeah, um, well, Justin reports that undocumented immigrants are protesting in the Charles de Gaulle airport in Paris right now, we won't let people board their flights until they meet and talk with the Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe of France, riot police on the scene. Well, and yeah, migrants warn it won't stop here. Um, there are lots of articles on this. And uh, France does not belong to the French. Everyone has a right to be here. Wow. Okay. No borders anymore. No borders. Well, that is the new world order. That's the reshaping of the new world order. No more borders. And do you think that these migrants, this is a spontaneous um, or even a planned protest of these migrants who uh, decided for themselves to shut down Terminal 2 of Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris? No. This is orchestrated. Many people behind the scenes orchestrating these protests to carry out uh, this new world order with a one world government, United Nations. We all know this. They refused to let passengers board until their demands were met in a protest one warned would not be the last. The group asked to speak with Prime Minister Edouard Philippe over the country's asylum policy and the leaders of Air France. They demanded that the airline stop any financial material, logis logistical, or political participation in deportations. We have targeted Air France and other actions will follow. Okay, it'll be interesting to see what happens to these migrants. Now, can France put down this protest and deport these migrants? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why didn't they? Well, because all of this is orchestrated and planned, and yes, France is no longer the France that we have known, certainly no longer the France that the French have known. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this video, a 21st century French yellow vest revolution. Okay, um, this woman, Georgia uh, Pulican, escaped from France to the UK, pressured by the police in France. She is a lawyer. You can listen to this video. Um, she uh, was also a, a, a yellow vest protester. And, well, listen to what she has to say right here. Thank you. So uh, I did um, <clears throat> this uh, video um, um, three or four months ago, 
and um, you know the um, I I talked about uh, a, a woman uh, a woman uh, who um, was um, violated by police. Um, she was uh, uh, not in police uh, custody, uh, and uh, she didn't uh, uh, make she didn't make anything wrong. And the uh, police put her in a in a cell. Uh, after um, you know, violet, uh, violating her, uh, they put them in a cell with um, a motorcycle helmet uh, on the head, uh, and uh, you know, uh, no, yes, and the person, this uh, woman. Uh, stayed uh, a long time. Uh, we, she asked for uh, a lawyer or um, a phone call. She didn't get uh, to. She didn't uh, have, have this right. These rights, these rights, and uh, she was crying under the helmet. Uh, and um, some hours after that. Uh, a doctor, because uh, when you ask for a doctor, the uh, police have to um, have to um, make uh, have to call the doctor, and uh, that's what uh, yellow vests uh, are, um, are living now uh, in Paris and um, in France, you know, and uh, you can guess that uh, this woman, it was me, it was me, so. Um, that's uh, mentally torture, you know, and um, I think that um, uh, you you have to know that uh, yellow vests and citizens uh, um, who demonstrate peacefully are uh, treated like criminal, uh, without any rights, uh, without uh, any um, fundamental rights, and uh, we we are totally. Uh, we are to totally without, um, you know, the law. The law is not uh, respected anymore in France. Uh, justice uh, is not independent anymore. Uh, Emmanuel Macron um, uh, has the control of the three powers. You know, the, the executive powers. Um, the legislative um, powers and uh, the judiciary power and uh, and the fourth power the media and uh, when uh, the separation of uh, powers is abolished uh, that's one name for this uh, dictatorship so we live in France, in a dictatorship, without name it. You have to know that because um, it's over. We two um, one month ago, uh, he decided he, he passed a law. Macron passed a law uh, to uh, prevent us to um, to demonstrate uh, in the streets. Now it's an offense. Uh, a law against uh, our constitution, freedom of um, assembly, assemble, you know. So now when uh, we as uh, YouTubers and uh, we leaders of Yellow Vets, but it's, that's not the exact word, uh, we can't, we, we act separ se separately, uh, like, you know, military um, strategy. Uh, we can't um, meet uh, each other in other like this because uh, police and government um, uh, looking uh, um, look for this to coach us in the same place because uh, um, we we don't have um, freedom of assemble anymore. Okay. Most Western countries today now are dictatorships. They just don't call it that. Do you think the law in the United States is respected 
it is not. And if you think it is, then you are selectively choosing what to pay attention to and what not to pay attention to. Yellow vest, peaceful protesters, French citizens. Now it is an offense to protest. They don't have rights. She speaks of yellow vests leaving France. She had to escape from France. What does this remind you of? Doesn't it remind you of oh, something called World War II? Okay. Well, you know, many people think that the shit is still impending. You know, the shit that hits the fan. It's, uh, it's coming. It, it hasn't happened. It's happening all over. It's been happening for years. And I do believe that, yeah, you know, they, they may very well create one of those false flags, bring about that real big, you know, shit hits the fan. But it has been going on for years. So a lot of people with that idea that it just hasn't happened yet and that we still have freedoms. Now, look, guys, <laughs> um, we don't even know what the hell is happening in our own country. Now, we get these reports that migrants are coming in in the tens of thousands. And this is my bookmark file. Um, you know, two new tent cities open in Texas to handle influx of migrant families. And this was just in the recent, like, I don't know, four weeks. Border crisis. ISIS has released 160,000 illegal Im immigrants claiming to be family units. Um, April was another record month for illegal immigration. Feds released 168,000 illegal immigrant family members into communities. Arizona tribe refuses Trump's wall, but agrees to let Border Patrol build virtual barrier. Um, you know, and I included that because I have said that you know, just to put up a fence and say we're putting up this fence and not also mention that much of the land is privately owned and there are um, tribes that it's their land. So it's not that simple to just put up a wall. Um, you might have lawsuits preventing it. So no, the wall was not going to be erected immediately. And anybody who could think that just wanted to believe it. And belief is not truth. Sanctuary City, Oakland, near broke. Sanctuary cities are going broke uh, to uh, sustain illegal immigrants. This is utterly insane. Border Patrol rep, record number of agents contracting illnesses from illegals. Shocker. The GoFundMe campaign to build the wall is a bust. Oakland's fiscal woes continue. Noted Sanctuary City diverts pothole money to keep the lights on. Border detention cells in Texas are so overcrowded that U.S. is using aircraft to move migrants. Um, yeah, yeah, Biden now. Uh, look, I, I'm. We're heading into 24/7 political drama. Yet another presidential campaign. Wow! Every friggin' two years, we have to listen to this crap while this country just continues to get destroyed on a daily basis. Um, so Biden in 2006 said, we need a border wall and to punish American employees who hire illegals. So many Democrat politicians said exactly that, and now they've changed their tune. But the Democrats can't, they don't remember. You're, you know, Americans are so easy, easily played, and so easily manipulated. Why? Because they don't even know who they are. When you don't know who you are, you can be just led by the nose by someone who's manipulating you. Frustration grows among migrants in Mexico as support fades. Yes, Mexico, the Mexicans are getting a little like, okay, enough with you traveling across 
our country. Poll, only two in 15 Americans aware of soaring illegal immigration in the United States. Armed patriots vow continued patrols as monthly border crossings reach 100,000. And to think that we had Mexican soldiers come on to U.S. land and apprehend and take away the guns from, uh, were they U.S. soldiers or these patriots? I'm not sure. But, and there was no, like, hey, what are you doing on U.S. soil? Huh. Well, this is all part of the plan. It is orchestrated. It is deliberate. It is purposeful. Just like France, you know, you have these migrants who no doubt um, will be treated quite nicely, but the French citizens, well, they're leaving France. My God, what the hell is wrong with citizens in Western countries that they cannot see that they are being deliberately brought down, destroyed? And all these countries, the Western countries, turning into dictatorships rapidly. Exodus, economists flee USDA after alleged retaliation by Trump administration. Actually, that was in the wrong file, but hey, Trump, make America great again. Yay! I love you, Trump. I love you, Trump. And people just refuse to take in the information that Trump is just yet another puppet. <sighs> Apprehensions up 42% on northern border as Mexicans, Central Americans, try to enter U.S. from Canada. ICE to hire contractor to transport 225,000 migrants to shelters across the United States. Cartels kicking our butts in New Mexico as state left without checkpoints. Maxine Waters slams Trump's very racist immigration plan. All a staged play. Reality TV scripted for the American people. Drama. They love it. Well, as we get screwed in the process. So I will link below to it all. Um, what's happening? Yeah, look, there's maintenance people at the apartment complex where I live, illegal immigrants. They treat the, city, uh, the tenants here like crap. No respect. And while I wouldn't put up with it, and I didn't, oh, but then I got an eviction notice. Oh, but then it was turned around, and I could stay. Clearly, the eviction was not legitimate. But every American tenant here, who are citizens, are too afraid to speak up. They don't want to get retaliated against. These guys who work here, even five years ago, there's no way that they would behave as they are behaving now. They behave as if they own this place. And why? Because ICE doesn't do a thing. They don't get deported. They know it now. And Americans? who are their employers, don't do a thing. What happens? Tenants get kicked out for complaining. How did this manifest? It manifested because Americans also don't give a shit. Sorry, but it's true. And they're afraid. They're afraid, they're afraid, they're afraid. And they never ever want to confront anybody because, oh, if you confront somebody, you're not a nice person. Okay, give it up, guys. We're getting destroyed. All links are below.